Hey everybody, it's Maggie from Personal Euphoria with today's plank story. So if you don't want to do plank, you can do some gentle neck exercises. You can tilt, like bringing your ear to your shoulder to tilt your head sideways. And if you want a deeper stretch, take your own hand, place it on your head, and just the weight of your hand will stretch you deeper. And you can do that to both sides. And then you can also turn to look slightly to one side, drop your chin, and same thing, if you want a deeper stretch, just put your hand on your head and the weight of your own arm will increase the stretch. And that feels really good, quite frankly. But you could also do plank. But here's the story. So as if you heard the other day, our trials and tribulations of getting to and from West Virginia, we went to West Virginia to meet some friends. And on Saturday, we had a gorgeous day and we went whitewater rafting on the New River Gorge. Now, about 15 years ago, I went whitewater rafting, and I remember really liking it. But I don't like rides, and I hate the flume in an amusement park. So I was nervous, and 15 years ago, we had, the river we did had up to three rapids. Their rapids are rated one through five for basically tourists. You can't take tourists, I don't think, on anything greater than a five. Um, and I remember thinking, like, that was thrilling enough, it was fun enough, a three would be good for me. I'm satisfied. Like, and I would do this again. So we signed up to do this again. And it dawned on me that this was listed as a river with threes to fives. And I started to get very nervous because again, I don't like rides. I don't like drops. I like being alive. And I really started to get afraid that I would fall out of the raft and yes, potentially die, but I think I was more afraid of just getting banged up on rocks and getting injured and not being able to teach and, and the pain of slamming up against rocks. And I didn't love that. So And, and I'm kind of like getting myself more and more nervous about it and trying to decide, should I go? Should I not go? Because um, there's no going back once you're on the raft. And so we get to the rapids and we're taking a bus and it's a bunch of people. There's going to be multiple rafts. And the lead guide has to go through basically some safety tips and he talks about all the things I'm nervous about and then he says so if you fall out of the raft and when you come up you're under the raft this is what you do and I'm thinking like that hadn't even crossed my mind I hadn't thought you could wind up under the raft he said if you're not the only one who falls out but the whole raft tips you're gonna get hit with something a paddle one of your friends something is gonna hit you like stay calm reorient yourself I was like I I didn't think about that now wait now you're just putting more things in my head to be afraid about and then he said when you get to one of the five rapids the guide will warn you he's like there's a section called the meat grinder if you fall out of the raft you've got to swim hard left left isn't necessarily your left like you've got to figure out which way the river's flowing and whatever way the river's flowing that would be that left you want to get away from the meat grinder you won't survive the meat grinder and I'm just like, this sounds terrible. And I say to him, like, this is not a good pep talk. You're not helping. And uh, he then says, if anyone wants to turn back, the bus can take you back or you can go. Uh, but once you're on the river, you're on the river. Uh, and he also says, like, these are rare, but he has to go over them. They took everybody out this morning. Nobody fell in the river. That's common. But you need to know in case this happens. So we go out and he also pairs me with the guide he think is going to handle this mess the most because <laughs> I told him I um was petrified I think was the word I used and our guide was fabulous and one of the things that helped me do it is the the um the lead guide basically saying these things are rare but you need to plan for them and Matt when I was nervous said Maggie listen I don't think they'd take tourists out on this if it was that dangerous, right? Like on a regular basis. And I thought he was probably right. But while I may be a little ashamed of this thought, I also thought, but it is West Virginia. Maybe they have some different rules. I don't know. <laughs> and so we meet our guide and he's wonderful. Uh, he's interesting. And what I realize is this trip is all about the guides. 
we're out there to like think we're paddling, having a fun time. But these are people who have lived in West Virginia. They've been paddling this river since they were 12. They know it inside and out. And it's their skill that keeps us safe and does everything we need to do. And they are truly impressive. And I honestly got the impression that if something happened to us, they would put themselves in quite a bit of harm's way to try to ensure we were okay. So just a great crew of guides working on this team that impressed me made me feel better but when we get to the five the guide says okay this is the five this is where you need to swim left that's the meat grinder and then we go through the five which i've been nervous about for like two days <laughs> and it was like the easiest rapid it wasn't that hard i didn't get it and so i said to the guy I, I don't get it like how was the five less than all the threes we just did and he said well i didn't take you through the meat grinder and i was like oh so we didn't do a five and he's like, no, 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 you did a five. A rapid's rated a five because of that section. And I was like, yes, 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 but that part's a five, but we didn't do a five. And I'm 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 harping on this because I actually have found this this day was so fun. I clearly like whitewater rafting. But there's a point where I wouldn't like it. Like most of our drops were like three feet. And he said when the water's higher, some of those drops are 15 feet. That's out of my league. I wouldn't want to do that. So my, my question is, how do I know going forward, like, this is, this is my tier whitewater rafting? And what he explains to me is the, the levels aren't based on, like, how fun or thrilling the rapids are. It's about if there's a section that if you were to fall in, how catastrophic it could be. And apparently if you fall in on a five and you get into the part of the current you shouldn't be in, there is, like, a high chance of death. <laughs> uh, so... I still don't know what to make of it. If anyone's more of an expert in um, what rapids mean, I'm happy to have more feedback. But as far as I can tell, it's almost more important to know how high the water is and how fast it's flowing than what rapid it is. But I also love, you know, you have this vision of a place and uh, I, it's not like I've never learned, you know, the stereotype isn't true, but I had this sort of vision of, West Virginia, and there were maybe some parts that certainly met what I kind of envisioned, but this, the New River Gorge is just gorgeous. The landscape is beautiful, and, and you have these people who are, like, committed to this river and what they do, and it, it's just lovely. So, anyway, I would, I would recommend a trip to the New River Gorge and certainly whitewater rafting, um, and with that, have a wonderful day, and as always, keep moving.